stock market, all-time high. Those three guys have been trying to talk down the economy to the benefit of the Democrat Party. Job openings, all-time high. Consumer confidence, 17-year high. Home sales, new home sales, a 10-year high. Federal manufacturing, 24-year high. There is a Trump economy. It is a rebound. There is a surging, growing economy. The stock market was at 18,000 one year ago. Do you realize this? On election day, the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrial Average at 18,000, this week, it looks to surpass 24,000. Question, would John McCain or any other Republican really torpedo this by trying to torpedo tax reform? Answer, yes. I notice people in his own party People Trump supporters have voted for in the past and are angry. It's just the opposite. Improper behavior by Minnesota Public Radio. Garrison Keillor, the former host of a Prairie Home Companion, and he used to be loved and adored by all touchy-feely progressives. Remember when this program began in August of 1988, it was within a year or a year and a half that AP or somebody went out. Ask Garrison Keillor, what do you think of this Rush Limbaugh, this new hot shot on the radio? And it was the usual, I never heard of him, and then I listened to him, and it just, you know, it's, 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 it's nothing, it won't last, it's just flashing up hands to them. Public radio over allegations of improper behavior. Keillor told the AP of his firing in an email. In a follow-up statement, he says he was fired over a story that I think is more interesting and more complicated than the version... NPR heard. He didn't give any details. Who's next on the list that is going to be accused? I mean, if, if such a list existed, would, would you have ever put Matt Wauer on it? I mean, he wouldn't be able to pinch her. A pincher is going to pinch. If there's one thing we know about these guys, a, grope, a groper is going to grope, a grabber is going to grab, a pincher is going to pinch her. Floodgates are about to open on this all over the place, not just confined to famous people in the media or in Hollywood. Or The reason the women haven't stood up is because all of this occurred. Look at how long all these guys got away with this. I don't know how many times over the course of this program, in discussing feminism and, and the traditional roles that men and women have. If you've heard me say it once, you're probably frustrated how many times I've said it. I always have believed that in a civilized society, it's women who are using you. I guarantee you part of it is the threat that if you say anything about it, you're going to lose your job. You can't beat me in a power struggle. So many women, and I don't, I wouldn't hold it against the women here in these circumstances, is when it comes to this kind of behavior, it's not just the behavior. There's the threat. There's the attitude. There is the 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 uh, callous disregard for one's humanity in this. This is this is despicable stuff. This this is indefensible. Well, they might slap you in the face, but they obviously did not slap Matt Lauer. And maybe if one of them did, and we don't know about it, where is she now? Is the point. Okay, let's use a different example. And the town bully happens to be a guy, and he goes into a restaurant regularly and is continually harassing the waitress. And everybody sees the Harvey Weinstein at some point and pay the price for doing so. But they all feared that there would be a huge price, and the price is losing not just your job, but your career. And so this became the equivalent.